What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bud Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we know the highly anticipated heavyweight unification rematch between former unified British heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and current unified Mexican heavyweight superstar boxer Andy Ruiz Jr. will be taking place December 7th in Saudi Arabia. Now, with that said, uh, the ring uh, and um, the zone and matchroom are using their best and trying their best to promote this as a similar situation as the great legend Muhammad Ali when he fought George Foreman in Africa. And they even went as far as you see the thumbnail. They went as far as to use a similar cover as the uh, cover that was used for Ali and George Foreman. Uh, Ali and George Foreman had a cover of themselves uh, and, you know, uh, with the African colors and with the map of Africa behind them. And it says super special heavyweight issue. It's a heavyweight a special edition. They are using the same cover and the same colors as the African colors. Green, red, and gold, and black. To promote it with the map of Saudi Arabia behind Joshua and Ruiz. And it says Clash of Dunes in the corner. World Heavyweight Championship. Right? Um, the fight with Ali and George Foreman took place in Zaire in Africa, uh, you know, um, some years ago, right? And this fight is taking place in Saudi Arabia between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. Uh, yes, it's a highly anticipated, uh, rematch. It's a highly anticipated fight, but going to Saudi Arabia and using the same outlier as they use for to go to Africa with the same colors with the map behind it of Saudi Arabia instead of Africa, obviously, and say the Clash of Dunes. Now, I understand what they're trying to get at. but And this could be a very, very classic fight. But the, fight, the fighters that's involved aren't as iconic as the fighters that were involved then. George Foreman was coming off of beating a legendary Joe Frazier. Uh, neither of these guys beat anybody as legendary as Joe Frazier, Ken Norton, or any of those guys. Um, they have beaten very good fighters. Well, Anthony Joshua has. Uh, Joseph Parker should have lost, uh, and Andy Ruiz should have been awarded the victory against Joseph Parker, but unfortunately he wasn't. Uh, with that said, you know, um, neither of these guys compared to uh, Muhammad Ali, obviously. You know, um, it's a, a, a sort of offensive um, to use the same outline, to use the same cover, in my opinion. You know, using the African colors, you know, Saudi Arabia is not Africa. Use, use, uh, uh, use the same concept, but be original in the same sense, right? So use the same concept as they have, but be original. Uh, don't use... That the same exact outlier, you know, to promote it, you know, yes, they're, they're going into foreign uh, land, you know, um, into Saudi Arabia. And, you know, there was a lot of complaints about it. And I'm sure there was a lot of complaints when George Foreman, Muhammad Ali went to Africa, went to uh, Zaire. Uh, actually, George Foreman didn't want to be there. Uh, someone similar to Andrew Ruiz not wanting to be there. This fight, it sells itself. Just use Saudi Arabia. I've seen a new stadium being built. Beautiful stadium, right? But, you know, um, to compare the two, because, see, people are going to get and instantly want to compare. That's the reason why they're using this. It's just like you watch TV and they flash you, keep flashing you things in your mental, and you try, you start to want it, right? They, you saw, they show you cold water. When you go to the movie theater, they always show you a nice cold soda and some nice popcorn and, 
you smell the popcorn, and the next thing you know, you don't even eat popcorn and, and drink Coca Cola. Next thing you know, you get you got a, a huge buy, a huge um, bag of popcorn and and a huge extra large uh, bottle of Coca Cola next to you, soda, right? Because they 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 it's mind games, and this is what they're trying to get at. But yet, the, neither of these fighters are legendary or iconic to that level. So this is a whole different ball game. I like. I'm one of the few people that like the idea of them going to Saudi Arabia, right? Uh, my only gripe was that Andrew Ruiz is the current unified champion, and he didn't want to go there, and he shouldn't have to because he's the champion. I don't mind them venturing out to other countries and exploring. It, it expands the sport of boxing. Uh, but with that said, you know, to compare the two is utterly ridiculous, and I don't think they should have did it. I think it's disrespectful to the two icons because George Foreman was an icon himself, and Muhammad Ali obviously was an icon. So, you know, it, it, it to me, you know, it's kind of disrespectful. Or you could look at a glass, a glass half full and say they paying homage. They got the idea from them to go over there. But I want to, to, to talk about it, build about it, you know, and see what you guys think. Uh, uh, me personally, I think that they should have used a similar concept but use have some originality to it. Use opposite colors. Now I'm not even sure what the uh, colors of uh, Saudi Arabia co colors are. Maybe it is similar. Maybe it is red, green, and, and gold, like Africa. Uh, but if it's not, let's look at this and see. Uh, um, uh, um, <clears throat> I just think that you know um, they try hard. It, yes, yeah, it's, it's green and black. I, I don't know how they got the African colors when it's not the African colors. It's, it's actually green and black. Um, so, you know, um, in itself, the Ring magazine, you know, um, they always, you know, reaching, you know, and, uh, you know, they always, um, you know, uh, just don't like to give credit where credit is due, in my opinion. You know, so I just think that, you know, um, doing this is, is, in my opinion, you know, it's, it's, it's a slight because none of these fighters are iconic as that. So trying to uh, resurrect that and, uh, you know, use that as, you know, promotion, in my, my opinion, is, 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 is uh, disrespectful. Have, you can use the concept, you know, going to Saudi Arabia. That's, the, that, that's where that came from. You know, uh, use the, you want to put the, the map of Saudi Arabia behind them, promote the fight? Absolutely. But use their colors. Why are you using the African colors? Why would you do such a thing? This fight is not in Africa. This fight is not in Zaire. So why are we doing this? For what? That's like a fight being here in the States. Nine, uh, and, and, uh, uh, Neither guy resides in Africa. Joshua uh, uh, is, is resides in the UK. Andy Ruiz resides here in the States. So the fight is here in the States, but you use uh, the Mexican colors as background to promote the fight. The fight is not in Mexico. Or you use, you know, uh, Ukrainian colors in the background. The fight is not in Ukraine. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So why use that when it's not that? It's disrespectful. Because you wouldn't use anybody else's flag and colors to promote a fight, and especially if the fight is not there, right? It's just my it's just my thoughts. It's just my personal thoughts. I personally think use the colors and the flag that the fight is gonna the event is gonna take place. Why would you want to use anything other than that? Promote the 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 land and the soil that it's gonna take place on. Don't use another soil. And another uh, um, place to promote the fight, to bring viewership to it. If that's the case, why not have the fight in Zaire in Africa? Why not? Right? So I'm looking at the Saudi Arabia colors and, and the flag and it's, um, it's not that. It's actually green and white. Just straight up green and white. So where did the red and the gold come from? 
Why are you promoting it as such? It's disrespectful to the motherland. It's disrespectful to Africa. But maybe I'm rambling. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share this video. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.